Shane Finan, uh, I'm an artist from Saigon. I'm really interested in how art and technology collide. I'm also particularly interested in how that manifests itself in environmental topics. So the curator, Valeria Zeregini, um, came up with the idea of having an exhibition of six different artists with different perspectives on nature uh, and on the human role within nature, so looking at the idea of the Anthropocene. And that's how I came up with the concept for the artwork reappropriation, which was built for the space of the Regional Cultural Centre. When we first went to the RCC, um, I think for myself I was blown away by the space. Um, it's an exceptional venue uh, and great staff too. The piece was intentionally built um, as a piece that people would walk around, would smell, would hear and would be able to see. So the entire location is activated all by the installation that has been built in that space. Uh, and I wanted people to be able to walk around it and I also wanted people to spend time to think about it and to, to wait and to stay in the room. So there is, within the projection that goes onto the floor piece, there is a, an ongoing idea that something maybe is about to happen. There's just this drumming audio, this smell, this portal to another world. And then you see these creatures, these characters, crawling through the underground, carrying and, and scavenging for plastic. And really what I was thinking about there was this idea of an imagined future where plastic has become a rarity and where in some sort of mad futility to try and preserve some semblance of a society that is long gone by, the, the, the last remaining people holding on to this archaic system are, are scavenging underground and trying to find the plastic. Working with installation, that's really what I want to do. I want to try and build places, something that will create a memory or an identity for the audience to come and view it. And when I put together this piece, uh, I was really looking at trying to build a way of looking down into the underground, a portal into a, into a future or a portal into another dimension. Uh, the second piece that I have showing is the repeated refrains of nature, which was a piece that I built in 2019 funded and supported by Trinity College Dublin Visual and Performing Arts Fund and it was built for uh, initially for the museum, the zoological museum that is on Trinity College campus. So stopping and thinking was really what that piece was, this piece was about. So the repeated refrains of nature is six are six different video screens. On each screen is a different bird which I recorded feeding in early 2019 and when an audience member walks into the room the birds fly away. It's triggered by a motion sensor in the computer program that I wrote to make the, the overall artwork work. The idea with that is that human interference can cause an unsettling or a disturbance within the natural flow of things. So it's just a reminder and maybe a thing that allows people to contemplate. But there's a second section to that too. By remaining still and by not moving, by not interfering by being cautious, by being practical maybe in your, in your thinking, or just uh, in, in the kind of transcendental idea of by being a part of nature yourself rather than interfering with nature, the birds will slowly come back. So it was something that I really wanted people to just spend time waiting and thinking and looking instead of flicking out a phone and taking a really quick photograph or um, pointing at it and, and, and shouting and telling somebody else to come and look at this thing. Uh, it's just spend time, a little bit of time, just contemplating and standing.